if you want to create a new brush from scratch, rather than just changing one of the ones that are provided, you can go over here to this icon that is the Add Brush icon. You just simply tap on it and it has created a new brush for you. You can rename this brush just by tapping on the letter A here and give it whatever name you want. Let me just call it New Name. It could be anything at all you want. And then you can adjust these parameters again. If Let's say I wanted this to be a thick brush starting at 22 and going to 33. And I can also change the shape of the brush. You can also change it to you know, these chisel tips, there's all kinds of things. And from now on, anytime I go back to that brush, I'll have that nice chisel tip. If I go back to one of the brushes that are provided, or I go back to brush number five, which I was using before, you'll see I can always go back to what I was drawing with in the past. But if I really like that chisel brush, the one that I named New Name, I tap on it and there it is, just exactly as I left it. You can also add texture effects to your brushes. There's two different ways to do that. Normally, normal vector brushes are kind of like a Sharpie marker where they just have a very uh, solid look to them, a very solid ink look to them. But if you want your lines to be a little bit softer, you can check this box that says Enable Texture. And then you'll notice that they just have a little bit of a creamier texture. There's a little bit of anti-aliasing on them that softens the edges a bit. But there are also brushes that are called texture brushes. And you can find them by going down to this drop-down list and picking texture brush. Oh, let me go to number two. I like that one. It shows you a preview here of the brush. And you'll see as I draw it that... It, it's based on a bitmap texture that looks like a piece of chalk or a piece of pencil. And as you can see down here, it's actually based on a texture that you have stored in your computer. So you can adjust all these parameters too. You can change the minimum opacity, the maximum opacity. So it basically goes from zero to one. You can change over here the hardness of the texture, which has to do with, again, how fuzzy or sharp it's going to look. And most important here is the size of the texture, um, because that's where you can really control how grainy it is. So if you draw there, if I make the size of the texture smaller here, it's a finer texture. And if I want to make it bigger, then it could be very, very coarse. It's up to you. And if you want to change the texture, to a different texture pattern, you'll tap on this box and then you can direct your finder window to another texture pattern that you have stored on your computer.